Jessica Brodkin, everybody. Jessica Brodkin. I'm not going to make you wait. How, how great was Rodney Laney, right? Great, right? Yeah. I'll tell you something right now. This is his year. This will be the year, not 2020. That's no one's year. 2021 will be the year that Rodney breaks out big. Please welcome back to stage our good friend Rodney Laney, everybody. for the band. These guys are amazing, amazing, amazing. This is definitely a weird show, and uh, <laughs> I feel like I just saw you guys. <laughs> like, I had to take a break. Like, it was a real job. I'll be back in 15 minutes. I'm like, <laughs> telling these jokes is very stressful. I need a pee pee break. You guys leaving already? Where you going? Oh. <laughs> Come on, give it up for Jess one more time. Give it up for Jess Brockman. That's good. Yeah. Talking about spirit, she, that's, she, she real deal. She, she actually gave me my first Reiki massage. Anybody know what that is? It's gonna get real weird in here. Like, you know what a Reiki massage is? You know everything, right? It's like, I didn't know what it was. I was all getting prepared. You know, give me a Reiki massage. Right, yeah, I got some tension in my neck. Yeah. It's, it's a type of massage where, you know, she didn't even put her hands on me. And I was disappointed. <laughs> I was like, damn, I ain't even get a happy beginning. <laughs> I hadn't seen her in a while, right? She called me up one time. She was like, you know what, I, I needed your help. But I, I said, never mind. But I said, what? I'm, I'm here for you. She said, yeah, I wanted you to um, help me out with this exorcism. <laughs> exorcism? <laughs> Like in the movies, <laughs> man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I got a cough. I can't taste anything. <laughs> like I'm, I need this quarantine. Can you imagine exorcism? Like I don't even believe in the devil like that, but I ain't gonna tempt him. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, what happens if he jump at me? I can't be riding on a turnpike with a demon inside of me. <laughs> Police pulled me over, license, insurance, and registration. Need the license, insurance. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> that was on call for. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's what you do. Oh, did you just cough? Oh my God. <laughs> we don't cough? You got a hold of cough. Everybody knows you got a hold of cough. You gotta hold the cough till you get to your car. <laughs> that way you cough and fart at the same time. Let it all out. You know how y'all do it, ladies. Y'all wait till y'all get home. <laughs> you got COVID on the back of your ear, man. You don't even know. I'm playing. It's all right. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm nervous, man. That's what you do, right? You meet people, man. Meet all kind of, that's what I miss. I haven't been to New York since this whole thing jumped off. I, ain't, I miss it though, it's crazy, right? You see the crazy people in New York? I remember one time I was in New York, this bum asked me for a dollar for some cake. He's like, let me get a dollar for some cake, man. Dollar for cake? I'm like, what? Are you celebrating? I'm not giving you a dollar for cake. I'll give you a dollar for drugs and alcohol. That's the social contract we have. <laughs> I'm not supporting your sweet tooth. <laughs> That's clearly sending the wrong message, right? Get to the next block, they begging for balloons. Can I get some balloons, man? We need a DJ, dollar for a DJ. I'm like, you having too much fun out here. <laughs> That's one thing you give up once you become homeless, right? No more desserts. <laughs> Can we all agree on that? Cause how you gonna discipline your kids if the homeless people eating dessert all day? I'm gonna let this motorcycle get out of here. <laughs> Never been heckled by a motorcycle before. <laughs> sound like a Harley too. He just waiting for my punchline. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know what? We, we. <laughs> Let's see. 
It's a parking lot. What is he doing over there? He don't want to pay. That's what's happening. I'm trying to get out of here. I should move this, man. I feel like this is... I'm going to steal this for real, though. Where's Benny? Benny, go take care of that. No motorcycle driving. Doing a comedy show. Nah, man, I don't, I don't mean to pick on the homeless people. That's not what I do. I got a cure for homelessness, right? Wanna hear it? Yeah. It's 100% effective. When we all leave here, we all take one homeless person home with us. <laughs> you guys like, what else you got? <laughs> I need something less compassionate. <laughs> It'll work though, right? <laughs> I don't know, that's New York, man. New Jersey. I don't know how I feel about being from Jersey sometime, right? A lot of people know about New Jersey. New Jersey like the last northern state to abolish slavery. Yeah. <laughs> so then like, let's get rid of this. Jersey was like, hold on. <laughs> let's not rush into anything. <laughs> I would say it's three parts of Jersey, right? The northern part is basically a suburb of New York. And the, uh, the southern part is basically a suburb of Philadelphia. And the central part is basically a suburb of Mississippi. <laughs> no offense to Mississippi. <laughs> now, you know, that's the most annoying thing about being from this area, too. Like, everywhere you go, you gotta pay a toll, right? I hate that. Sometimes I put in my GPS, no tolls. My GPS is like, <sighs> You're gonna have to walk. <laughs> My GPS gave me directions to the bus station. That's the only way. And they keep going up, right? I don't even know. It was like $18, $16 take the George Washington Bridge, $16 take the Lincoln Tunnel. Washington and Lincoln got me looking for an underground railroad. <laughs> You look at the new Harriet Tubman right here. <laughs> Come on, follow me to Easy Passage. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the North Star. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Anybody from Staten Island? <laughs> exactly, they can't make it out. <laughs> it costs $175 <laughs> across the Verrazano Bridge. <laughs> You need a cosign in the car with you, right? There's certain things, right? Certain things I hate spending money on, like women and children, right? Anybody surprised I'm a parent? Nah, nobody surprised. Y'all just think all oh, black people got kids, that's what's going on here. Like, we watched Jerry Springer. <laughs> Although y'all not surprised, I know I was when the judge told me, and I was, <laughs> I was shocked. I'm an old-fashioned type of parent too, right? I believe in leaving kids in the car. <laughs> Remember your mother would tell you to stay in the car and it was cool? She say, sit right here, you sat right there. She said, the problem, blow the horn. <laughs> like she could hit a horn in the mall. But she knew to crack the window though, right? <laughs> One person didn't crack the window, messed it up for the rest of us. <laughs> Next time we stop, we gotta take these kids inside. <laughs> Turn a five minute trip into 45 minutes, like put it back, put it back, put it down, put it down, put it, back, put it down, put it back. There are benefits of leaving a kid in the car. Like I found they won't repossess your car. <laughs> They won't tow it. <laughs> Parking never a problem for me. <laughs> you think I'm lying? I got a kid in the car right now. <laughs> right next to that guy with the motorcycle. <laughs> Starting up again. <laughs> Round of applause if you got kids, though. Round of applause if you have kids. You got kids. <laughs> Round of applause if you still like them. If you still like them. Anybody teaching their kids at home right now? <laughs> Everybody like, I mean, you can call it that. I, mean, I do what I can do. 
<laughs> you might be doing your homework. Like, hey, Google, how do you do math? <laughs> Kids, you got to love them, right? They grow up so fast, right? I got a son, too. That's a different. I remember my son was born. I used to hold him, feel his heartbeat. Now I want to punch him in the chest. <laughs> Stop it from beating. <laughs> you can't do that because of Child Protective Services. They frown on that. I know. <laughs> so I got to wrap it up, man. I'm going to leave you guys with, man. You guys are fun. You going to eat the rest of that chicken? <laughs> you asked for a box and it never came. I knew you wasn't leaving. Black people don't leave no chicken on the table. Somebody get her a box. <laughs> it's for the kids. <laughs> Here you go, mommy. It's always thinking about you. <laughs> Eat that chicken right there. Do your homework. <laughs> All right, man. Are you married? No? Nah? You, you guys a couple? All right, let me wrap this up, man. Um, I don't know what I want to end this with. Uh, I don't know. That's one good thing about COVID, right? I haven't been going to any weddings, right? Weddings been down to a minimum. That's one good thing, right? I feel like the wedding gift is outdated, right? I know if I ever get married, I want money. And I'm going to let it be known, right? I'm going to be registered at Bank of America. <laughs> Your invitation coming with a deposit. <laughs> Yo, you guys have been fun, man. Thanks for hanging out. Put my mask on.